Vignal was the name of the prototype presented at the 2004 Paris Motor Show. It was the forerunner of the Focus Coupe convertible. Two years later, Ford introduced the finished product in Italy. The Focus Coupe convertible is the first Ford product to come with a retractable hardtop. Concocted and developed in partnership with Pininfarina, it is built at the Italian body maker's factory. Ford opted for a two-element hardtop in order to guarantee advantages in terms of reliability, rigidness and being waterproof. But no, we test drove the car in a downpour and the waterproofing was way off the mark. It felt as if it was raining in the inside. Ford assured us that Pininfarina is working to make the necessary changes on the production line and we like to believe them. You'll need patience though because it takes 29 seconds for this transformation to take place and it can only be done when the car is rested and you cannot bring the top down by remote control. Despite all this, the Focus Coupe convertible has one very strong point. Once the top is closed, there is a 534 cubic litre storage space in the boot, a record for this. The Focus CC will go up against the like of the Peugeot 307 CC, the Renault Megane C Plus C, and two other new entries, the Volkswagen EOS and the Opel Astra Twin Top. In an attempt to stand out, there are two petrol and one diesel engines as well as two new finishes to choose from. Ford is also relying on what we call the power to attract, which is a question of taste. The design of this coupe convertible is very particular. The boot is often the most difficult area to design and the least successful. Today, there isn't a single constructor available to offer any elegance in creating this type of vehicle. The Focus coupe convertible will please some, but not others. much new in the interior, the dashboard is the same found in the sedan. The seating position was lowered in order to have more coupe style driving position. The finished quality is more than adequate. Testing a convertible is always a pleasure. With wind blowing through the hair, you'll find the steering to be well balanced and the gearbox to be precise. Thanks to the anti-wind net, which can be had for an extra 180 euros, all aboard are well protected from the wind and even better, rear passengers have sufficient legroom as long as they're no taller than 1 meter 80. The Focus Coupe convertible has some of the same DNA as the Focus GT and thus has some undeniable dynamic qualities. We opted for the 145 horsepower 2 litre motor which did have some re-acceleration difficulties due to the added 150 kilos of weight. However, its road handling remains efficient and safe even though it does have a tendency to understeer. The Ford Focus Coupe convertible does though have some positives, the biggest being its concept. The Coupe convertible reflects a young and dynamic image and all of the running gear offers undeniable quality.